In this video, I'm going to be talking about the buffer circuit. Now, the buffer circuit is one of the most useful op amp circuits there is, and is also one of the easiest. Before we jump into the buffer circuit, I want to first talk about this first situation over here on the left, where you have a Thevenin source, which is a voltage source with a series resistance connected to a load. So if you wanted to calculate the value of VO, you could do that by saying VO divided by VI is equal to the 10 ohm resistor divided by 90 plus the 10 ohm resistor. Now this is the equation for voltage divider. You don't have to use it. You could analyze this any way to find that value of V out. But the result is if we multiply VI over, that gives us VO is equal to 0.1 volts. So now if you have this 7 in model and you want to apply that one volt source to a 10 ohm resistor, you're not going to be able to get more than 0.1 volts at your output. So this is where the buffer circuit comes in. So let's say we have the same Thevenin source over here on the left, and we'll go ahead and start analyzing it. So the first thing I'm going to do is define a current for both my resistor components. Let's call this I1, and we'll call this one over here I2. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to begin labeling my nodes. So this VO over here on the right is referenced to my ground, so I know this node is VO. Because we have an op amp, we know that the negative input and the positive input have the same potential. So if VO is on the negative input, this is the negative node, VO must also be on the positive input. So the last node we have to label is the top of our voltage source, and this is going to be one volt. So this node here is one. And now we have to write the equation for our 90 ohm resistor. We want to figure out what VO is. So to do that, we can write that I1 is equal to 1 minus VO divided by 90. But because it's an op amp, we know that I1, the current going into the positive terminal of our op amp, must be equal to zero. So for this to be true, we know VO must be equal to 1. In the case of our first circuit on the left, when you try to apply your Thevenin model with the 1 volt source to your 10 ohm resistor, you suffered from voltage division and you weren't able to see that one volt across your 10 ohm resistor. What the buffer does is it reflects your input voltage to the output of your circuit without having that loading effect because of the high input impedance of the op amp. That's it for this video and I'll see you next time.